Forever, I played 15 years. Actually, uh, have NBA 2K keep my legacy and and you know be a part of something that kids that never seen me play the game of basketball get to experience. Like, you know, who is this guy that plays for the Rockets? Who is this guy play for the Magic? You know, and then to take and to look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. Hoping to come out of the gates strong. Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, thanks very much, guys. Now, it's no secret at the end of quarters, players will wait until just after the buzzer sounds to fire up heaves so they won't hurt their field goal percentage. To encourage a nothing to lose approach on these plays, many say it's past time that the league only counts the makes in those situations. Kevin, kind of interesting. Yeah, it is. Do it. Thanks, TA. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? Let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. Things are happening so fast it can take years for the game to slow down. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. Up front, it's Williamson at the four. And Valanciunas at the five. Brandon Ingram's out there with McCollum. And it's Jones in at the three. And for Los Angeles, they've got Taylor. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Patrick Beverly. Then there's Buddy Heal. And it's Davis in at the center position. Banked in off the glass. Once AD gets the ball inside, he's about there. And a little power takes care of the rest. Here's Jones. And Jones comes it home. Jones. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small at his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Now here's Williamson. This game, he had 28 points, and there it is for him. And that's just all Zion. That once he gets that close, he's zoned in on capitalizing no matter what. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Davis inside. Alan Junis is there. Lets it fly. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. I think people underestimated the Pelicans last year. They, they had such a tough start to the season, but still were able to make it to the playoffs. Now here's Jones. Back to McCollum. Five on the clock. 
Into the lane, the baseline J. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touch by Schroeder. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. And the basket by McCollum. Unfortunately, the Pelicans did make a first-round exit in the postseason group. In a series, they took to six games. But, yeah, it couldn't put together that deep run. Maybe this year, things will be different. It's good. He got to the 10. I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Ingram finds Valanciunas. Back to Ingram. To the left wing. Just four to shoot. Here's McCollum. Steps back and dreams the jump shot. McCollum's got his second basket of the game. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to score. That's four connections and five tries now for him in what's been a great first quarter. Outside, Jones. Back to McCollum. Pass to Valanciunas. Knocked away. It's stolen by Schroeder. Here's Davis, and it's Davis That's finishing it off. And, and not just a score. Hill is solid at reading when his guys are open for a look. Cullen passes to Jones. Now Williamson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And that one's good by Davis. When Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him, giving you his entire package right now. It's Jones on the wing. Covered by Heal. It's stolen by Heal. Here's Davis. Count that one as his seventh make in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Already such a well-coordinated athlete for his size and age. Williamson bringing down the house. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. And it's Davis finishing it off. And he continues to put in work in the paint. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. Four-point game. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And guys, it's really a fine line between being aggressive and being out of control. And in that one, they crossed the line. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, they seem to be forcing things out there, trying too hard, pressing. When you do that, the turnovers pile up quicker. And the Lakers with some changes. Thomas Bryant is checked in for Taylor. Walker comes in for Patrick Beverly, and it's Kendrick Nunn in for Dennis Schroeder. Now here's Nance. Here's Ingram, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And you look at the way he can get off the shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, I like their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And, guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. That misses, so he splits the free throws. A creator indeed, and the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. And, and that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. It makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. And here are the Pelicans now, after the basket by Los Angeles. Nance finds Ingram. Here's Alvarado. 
just five on the clock. Fires from 14, and Davis pulls it down. Lakers leading by five. Here's Walker. That's in, coming off an issue from Bryant. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Now here's Ingram. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Clippers. Here's Alvarado, and Davis sends it back. No, sir, don't bring that in here. A.D. having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. And it goes down two points. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Right side to Walker. That's good from Davis on the assist by Walker. Davis has got 18 points in the game. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended in a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here, getting their first look of the season at this Pelicans team. In this game, just the first of four meetings between these two, they'll get quite familiar with each other by season's end. You know what, guys? I don't know. I, I get the feeling that this could be an interesting matchup this season. This first game will tell us a lot. Andrew Beverly is checked in for Walker. Devontae Graham's checked in for the Pelicans. Lakers leading by five. Peeled outside. Davis inside, working on Hayes. And it's Davis missing. For New Orleans, they've gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any night. You know, you think of the Lakers leading up to LeBron James joining them. This was a team that struggled for relevancy. And even during Kobe Bryant's final seasons there, they still were a little below par for the Lakers. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Now here's Davis. 18 points for him. That shot, no good. 110 left to play in the first quarter. Graham, the best in ants. Launches a three. And it's Alvarado missing. Mark, as you recall, the Lakers had missed the playoffs the last few years leading up to LeBron James actually joining them. And you know what, Kevin? They missed it in year one of the King in L.A. as well. Some of that due to injury, but nonetheless, not part of the playoffs. Despite the bubble title, it's been a challenge for LeBron during this time with the Lakers. Last year, extremely frustrating. And I'm sure they want this season to be different. Yes, that goes in. Nice pass from the point guard, Graham, there. Loves getting the ball over to his open teammates. Healed from outside. That shot off the mark. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. 34 seconds left in the first quarter. And Buddy Heald is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you've got to appreciate that kind of forceful in-your-face defense. him against Beverly. Graham with the bucket. It's all knotted up. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Healed. Can't hit. Here's New Orleans. And here is Graham. I mean, that's a tough that's break a for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. It's his first trip to the line. And going back to his performance at the line last year, guys, 84% as a free throw shooter. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys, uh, for any team. Coming down the stretch in close games, you've got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, 
you feel good about it. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will. Oh, he gets it to go. Wow, it counts. With the score. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible. Oh, nice. First quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Pelicans ahead. As they end the first quarter on a 15 to 5 run. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Pelicans. These guys have been so quick off the dribble, finding great lanes to attack and getting themselves to the basket. Taking what the defense gives them, guys. I mean, the mid-range shot is available, and they're knocking it down from there. I love it. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Up front, it's Williamson at the four, and Valen Junis at the five. Cohen is out there with Brandon Ingram. And it's Jones in at the small forward position. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What you got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Last season, we know the Pelicans made that trade to bring in C.J. McCollum. He says, I think it's a match made in heaven. I'm happy to be here. The cool part is that I haven't had to make any real adjustments. The way I play is the right way. Kevin, back to you. Well, and he's completely changing teams midseason. Tough thing to do, but he is a veteran that can certainly handle it. Ball in his hands. Good things usually happen. Hey, David, thank you for that story. Clark, when the casual fan looks at a statue, turnovers sometimes go overlooked. They don't really grab your attention. But as a player, how conscious of turnovers were you? Extremely conscious of it, Kevin, because you know possessions are valuable, and you don't want to be limiting your team in possessions. And you don't want your teammates to be sloppy. You don't want to be sloppy. And most of the time, you want to try to force your opponents into turnovers, not make them yourself. And it's Valanciunas finishing it off. And it's not everybody who needs hops to finish at the rim. Valanciunas just needs to be in arm's length of the bucket to throw it down. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And when you think about veteran guard Dennis Schroeder, still such a shifty, unpredictable player. Yeah, he really is because of the way he can change gears and play at different speeds. Very impressive. At his best when he's putting blinding speed to use. He doesn't always unleash it, but when he does, it's very effective. Pass to Ingram for three. Tries again. Goes up again. Here's Valanciunas. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Boy, Valanciunas, a mountain of a man, a solid big guy who scores well and provides a lot of length and muscle inside. The Pelicans have gone four for five for the charity strike in this one up to now. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. And you can't take those numbers lightly, fellas. I mean, their free throw shooting made a difference for them in a lot of their games last season. And he sinks the second. Time One of my ball. favorite players in NBA history, Clark, the 80s Showtime Lakers. Man, I played against those guys. Thankfully, it was just twice a year. We were in Eastern Conference. Those dudes were unbelievable. Magic running the point. Kareem still playing at a high level down low. Worthy finding his stride and finishing the break. They didn't just win titles. Showtime had a flavor that was fun to watch if you weren't being run out of the building by them. And guys, things are looking up in New Orleans. The extension for Zion Williamson reflecting his commitment to this young boy. And with the eight pick, with Dyson Daniels, that the Pels added to their bevy of young wing defenders. They're building a team to contend. Ryan is checked in for Damian Jones. Oh, and the dunk by Jones. And as we've watched him develop, Zion has steadily improved his passing ability. Got a piece of it. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. Shoots from 12. Rebound the Lakers. Schroeder outside. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. New Orleans.
ball. Here's New Orleans. They're on a 12 to three run right now. Schroeder against McCollum. Ingram outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Ingram's got his third basket of the night right there. You know, Ingram is somebody you have to watch closely on the perimeter because he's improved his outside shot so much since coming into the league. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. To the inside. And slam dunk by Ingram. Ingram clearly on the attack there, not allowing the defense to do anything with that dunk. Schroeder dishes to Walker. Back to Schroeder. Here's Toscano. Off target from three-point range. New Orleans leading by 17. Williamson kicks to McCullough. Williamson trying to free himself up. Taylor with the rebound. Boy, that's a look he has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Here's Bryant. And he converts the layup. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. New Orleans with the ball. They're on a 17-5 run. Poked away. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. On defense, the Lakers. Here's Williamson. Good on the shot. Williamson's got four points this quarter. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Jones. He is hauled in by Los Angeles. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. And just a little too lax with that possession. And it cost them. And I tell you what, more brain neutral plays like that one, and they'll have a whole deeper than the one they're already in. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Buddy Heald comes in for Taylor. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Dennis Schroeder. Nancy's checked in for New Orleans. Fades back. Bank shot. No good. Lakers trail by 17. Heald with it. He's picked up by Nance. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And Walker kicks to Heald. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Here's New Orleans. They're on a 19-5 run here. Here's McCollum. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. Oh, I love the aggressive mindset Beverly has. I mean, that's really what makes him special. He's not afraid of getting bumped, especially when he's going to the bucket. Davis has checked in for the Lakers. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Walker. Good on the second free throw. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. But it is good. Really good court awareness that time from Anthony Davis, seeing the floor and making the right decision. A big part of two Sacramento blockbuster trades. Buddy Heald went from New Orleans to Sacramento in the DeMarcus Cousins trade. Here's Murphy, and it's good. Two points. Murphy. Murphy's got his first points of the night. 
big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And Clark for healed six years later. He was part of the Kings Pacers mega trade. Yeah, Kevin, that one sent DeMontis Sabonis to Sacramento. Heel showed his value as a player night in and night out in Sacramento, and that created the trade value that allowed him to be moved for good players. He's actually one of the best shooters you can find in the league, in my opinion. And, and Davis puts it in. Four, two. And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. We've got 128 left now here in the second. And it's Graham missing. Lakers trail by 14. Healed left side. Trying to get open is Davis. The shot, no good. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Count the basket. A guy like Buddy out hustles other players on the floor. He gets inside and there he finishes strong. Passes to Murphy. Now Graham. It's hauled in by Beverly. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. The pass to Davis. It's deflected. Ball's knocked loose. And it's Davis with the jam. With Davis, a game-wrecking presence around the basket. Excellent agility for a big guy. Pelicans leading by 10. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Back to Graham. Here's Hayes. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Clippers. And he was relentless in that one. I mean, he wanted to be the first to every rebound and almost was. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. The lead now cut to single digits. Davis has got 27. Boy, AD showing you how strong and willing to work he is because that was a difficult bucket there. And so that's the end of the first half. Pelicans lead by eight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 40 now. Thanks very much. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A competitive matchup for New Orleans in the first quarter. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. After a solid second quarter, they built their lead to eight at halftime. Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from New Orleans? The production they've gotten from the bench has been phenomenalistic. I don't know if that's a word, but it sounded good. I mean, as we know, depth is important to any team's success. They're demonstrating that tonight. And who knows, it might get the starters a kick in the pants. No one wants to be outshined. And over to Kenny, your takeaway on the Lakers. They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hustled, getting moved around, losing possessions. The one thing you can control is effort. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. If you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. New Orleans leading by eight. We've got Dennis Schroeder. Taylor is out there with heel. Then it's Patrick Beverly, and it's Davis at the pivot spot, manning the middle. It's the group starting the second half for Darvin Ham. Outside, Taylor. Back to Heald. Outside, Davis. Over 
over Valanciunas, and the shot is long. And for the Pelicans, their shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Out to Ingram, pass to Williamson. A three from McCollum, hits it from three-point range. McCollum's got seven points. And you can't give McCollum any space. Always a threat to pull the trigger. Right side, Davis. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Alan Junis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Uh, there had been so much talk uh, about Zion wanting out of New Orleans. That was all put the rest this past summer. Zion signing a loaded extension to keep him with the Pelicans for the next handful of years. And as incredible as Zion Williamson has been and is, the big problem, Greg, is keeping him ready to play. His health. And there have been all sorts of opinions in on whether he can play at a high weight. But the bottom line is something needs to happen to keep him healthy. He's lost too much time early in his career. Davis finds heel. Five to shoot. Everly for three. And again, the Lakers no good. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Here's Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. And you know, as time goes on, Ingram continues to embrace more responsibility. He wants to be the focal point of this offense. Here's Taylor and the rejection by Valanciunas. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys, missing their first four attempts. McCollum outside, three-pointer. That's good, and it's Ingram right with the right assist. Now. McCollum's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Pelicans. Timeout called the Lakers. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Making a switch here. Lions checked in. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Shooter kicks to Davis. Lions the pass to Beverly. Lakers passing it around. Healed from outside. And again, no good by the Lakers. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. That's great finish at this juncture. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. McCollum kicks to Ingram. McCollum against Schroeder. And there's McCollum. That's good on the assist from Ingram. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And it's Schroeder missing. Pelicans leading by 19 points. And it's Ingram missing. Davis down low, guarded by Valanciunas. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Three violation. Costly oh, error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. And looking at that replay again, just a big-time block right there. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. A, a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. New Orleans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. And one way Valanciunas generates offense, using that big body to snare the board and keep the play alive. And looking at Anthony Davis, a huge part of this team. Sure is. I mean, along with every team he's been on, this is a superstar player. I mean, no question about that. He can headline a roster full of superstars. Not much on the floor, 
that AD can't do. When you talk about two-way impact on the game, AD might be the top guy in the league. I mean, when he's healthy, he's a menace on defense with that length and timing. And offensively, he can carry a team. Here's Bryant. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Bryant's got six points. Uh, how about the perseverance there, the extra effort on that offensive glass? Back to Jones. To the right side. Hayes dishes to McCollum. Allen Jr. is trying to free himself up, and that one is good. McCollum's got 14 points here in the second half. Timeout called the Lakers. All right, fans. Get on your feet. Make some noise. It's T-shirt time. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Damian Jones is checked in for Davis. Toscano Anderson comes in for Buddy Heal. Walker's checked in for Patrick Beverly. And it's Kendrick Nunn in for Dennis Schroeder. And a change for the Pelicans. Alvarado's checked in. And it's Bryant missing. On offense, here are the Pelicans. They're on a 19-5 run. And it's Ingram missing. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. The drive by Bryant. Basket counts. Eight points for him. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. And Kendrick Lakers Nunn is going to pick up the foul. Kendrick Nunn. That's his first foul. That's his first New Orleans first making some changes foul. here. Larry Nance has checked in for Brandon Ingram. And Devontae Graham subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Larry Nance Jr. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Hell ball. That's the jump ball. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Lakers trail by 20. And Walker kicks to Bryant. Falls. Nice feed that time for Walker. Walker's got three assists now in this one. Nance outside. The dish to Valanciunas. Graham, the pass to Nance. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Pelicans lead by 20. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone oh, after this wow. win a little bit more. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. In recent years, the NBA has opened several international academies. Commissioner Adam Silver says huge numbers of people are playing basketball, but unless you take the best at a young age, facing elite competition and training under high-pressure circumstances,
I swear the lanes they still ask who that is. She at the house party, hope she don't play the kid. Game my phone, I'm on it, play more, and I'm still on two percent. Hit me right now, don't hit me right now, hit me right now, yeah. Don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now, no. Don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now, no. Right now, don't hit me, don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now, don't hit me right now. Physically, physically fit, catching in your eyes. All right, so, you know, you scored 13 points in 35 seconds. Now...
We have cameras on the Jazz team bus pulling into the arena. The players exuding confidence as we get set to get the action started. A festive atmosphere inside the building as we bring you Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill. Allie, take it away. Well, Anthony Davis grew up in Chicago during the Jordan years, so is that why he wears number 23? He said, quote, I wore number three in grade school. In high school, I asked for that number. Coach said, you'll get whatever I give you out of this bag. He grabbed out a jersey and threw it to me, and it was number 23. Guys, AD said, that'll work. No doubt. Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. Here are the starters for Utah. Colin Sexton out there with Mike Conley. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Lori Markkinen. And it's Olenek in at the five. And for the Lakers, a lot of firepower at the forward with LeBron at the three and Davis at the four. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Buddy Heald. And it's Lopez in at the five. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. Outside Sexton. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to Sexton. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Well, Sexton showing that he's more than just a jump shooter. Very comfortable on the interior against size. Here's James. Schroeder passes to Davis. Now, here is James. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. This guy's a pro at absorbing contact. Almost wants you to foul him as he scores it. Oh, LeBron James. Back to Conley. Second shot opportunity. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Shooting for Utah. Mike Conley. That free throw misses. One thing that's defined Mike Conley's career in the NBA is his mastery and understanding of the point guard position. Don't sleep on his athleticism now either, though. Vertical at the combine was 40.5 inches. Folks, not a lot of people achieve that number. And if you know about Conley's family, you know where he gets his athletic ability. Well, we know Mike Sr. is a gold medalist in the triple jump. He's in the track and field hall of fame. No wonder Mike Jr. can jump out of the gym. Just great instincts. He knows what to do when he gets near the rim. Love to watch this guy work. Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside Olenek. And here's Conley. Just five on the clock. Marking it outside. The Jazz need to get one up in a hurry. Sexton misses. The Lakers have gone three of three so far from the floor. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Always willing to embrace contact. LeBron James has the kind of frame that can absorb it any time. LeBron James. He hits the second from the line. And here's Conley. 14 points his last outing. Outside Sexton. Back to Conley. And Davis with the block. Dominant on the defensive end. AD can change games with his length. Getting a block just right there. To the middle. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Davis has got his second bucket on the night. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Outside Sexton. Outside Conley. Outside for Sexton. The three-pointer off the mark. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. That one goes in. Davis has got six points. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And Utah calls time here. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Last season, this was a surprisingly difficult matchup for them. Lost every game against this team. Let's see 
some of the numbers here for Anthony Davis. Let's go! Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Stolen by Schroeder. James against Conley. And there's James on the assist from Schroeder. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Outside Sexton. And we're going to have a jump ball. And we have to take another look at that block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. And so it's Utah with it. Conley finds Vanderbilt. Shot clock at six. And another miss by Utah. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. And that one's good. James. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've got. Here's Conley. And he's now one for four after that one. Hey, this guy is competitive. He's tough, and he'll play through contact. Mike Conley doing work inside. Passes to Davis. Sinks that one from the post. Davis has got eight. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. And fires. Sexton against Heal to the left wing. Left side Conley pulls it from 20. Schroeder with a rebound. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. James. That shot, no good. Good D by Vanderbilt. Utah has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. From deep, Conley. Rebound, Anthony Davis. You hate to pile on, but his poor shooting night has really hurt the team. And it's healed, missing. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Well, the past few seasons, the Jazz have become serious playoff contenders. You know, B.A., with high expectations, they haven't reached their goal. Now, this franchise definitely has their sights set on the ultimate prize, their first championship. And Utah calls time here. You know, last game, they matched up with the Mavs. A tough loss there. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. Jones, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Here's Clarkson. 17 points for him. Last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Boy, Malik Beasley, known as a pure scorer, but how about the setup of his teammate right there? That's a pretty pass. Here's James, and he lays it up and in. James has got 11 points. And early on, they've been on a tear, just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip, and guys are making their shots. That's critical. Clarkson outside, clock at six. Sexton misses. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Doing more work in the painted area. He has really excelled inside. Well, the Jazz shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. Outside Sexton. Inside. Tipped. Here's Gay. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. James, outside. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. The king looks like he's feeling it right now. LeBron James, you might want to keep the ball out of his hands. Sexton against none. Sexton passes to Gay. 
Back to Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. Pulls up. High post. It's not going to go for him. And Los Angeles the other way now. They're moving on after the tough loss at the hands of the Pelicans. Yeah, the issue in that one was simple. They didn't hit the glass. They got bullied and outworked. Well, the numbers back up that assertion, no doubt about it. And sometimes it's about, hey, we've got to get on the glass and make sure they're feeling us all night long. They didn't do that. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Utah's gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Clarkson outside. Hey, outside. They get it back. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Boy, the big man, Kelly Olenek, doing a great job going right into the foul. He doesn't seem to fear anyone. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, guys, early on, they're driving the lane constantly, using their quickness to gain an advantage. Look at their points off penetration. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Here's Taylor. And the shot goes. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Hey, outside. Clarkson outside. Back to Gay from outside the arc. Here's Olenek, and it's Olenek with a jam. You know this, uh, Olenek has a terrific motor. He's always been a high-energy guy who makes things happen. Pass to Walker. Here's Taylor. 16 seconds left to play in the first quarter, and he drops in the layup off the glass. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Clarkson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, we understand that Jordan Clarkson is strong enough to take contact and continue through the play. Nice aggressiveness. And breaking out the one-hand slam. Man, an emphatic way to extend the lead a little more. From deep. No good. Misses at the buzzer. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ballgame. The Lakers on top, up by 15. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Welcome to the floor. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard. But plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, Lakers look pretty much in control here. With their offense clicking on all cylinders, they own that first quarter. That's exactly the start you want. You take complete command. Now you've got to maintain that focus. They've got Buddy Heald. Juan Toscano Anderson is out there with Davis. Then there's Brooke Lopez. And it's Schroeder in at the one. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. A dunk master, AD, with yet another slam. Pass to Abaji. Oh, that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. You have to limit mistakes. They're so tough to overcome. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Sexton's checked in and stolen by Sexton. Here's Beasley. Deflected. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. big men nowadays, Doris. Some of them handle like a guard. Well, this is the beauty and the natural evolution of having to function on the perimeter. We want to be as skilled as possible. We call it being a three-tool player, Brian. Can you dribble? Can you pass? Can you shoot? Increasingly, you must be able to do all three. Up top, Beasley. From downtown. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got four rebounds now to the paint. Heel. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Lakers lead by 18. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. 
He'll take possessions like that one all day. Pass to Abaji. Now here's Sexton. Just four to shoot. Shoots over Lopez. Well, Lopez twice on the pipes. He has the length to do this every time on the defensive end. The Lakers have gone three of three to begin the second. And Davis slams it home. Four. Making plays at both ends of the floor. And it shows up in the box score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Time out, time out. You had Utah calls time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Outside Sexton. Pass to Markkinen. Shoots over Lopez. Markkinen misses. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Boy, there's a lot about Lowry Markkinen that makes this guy unique. Seven footer with a big time offensive game. That actually happens mostly outside the arc, guys. Here's Abaji. The Jazz with another miss. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Markkinen's unique style is right there in his stat line, Doris. That's exactly right, B.A. That's the point. A big man averaging more three-point attempts than regular two-point field goal attempts. Who else is doing that? At seven feet tall. But somehow he makes it work. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. The three. Rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got eight rebounds in the game. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him, there's no doubt. I mean, some good stuff out here. Five of their last six buckets have come off of nice passes. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Market it outside. Back to Sexton. And that one is stopped right through. It's not just the decision making, it's the ability to put the pass where it needs to be, when it needs to be there. Mr. Markinen, well done, sir. And James gets it to go. James has got six points in the quarter. And talk about imposing your will. That's ten straight points in the paint. Here's Sexton coming off a 28-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Six to shoot. Here's Markkinen. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one on heel. What I'm always impressed by, guys, is Markkinen's versatility. The guy can face up and make jump shots. He can be enough of a presence on the interior that you're very comfortable with him in this modern NBA game. Taylor, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Nunn comes in for Schroeder. That one misses. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Nunn, the pass to Lopez. Count it. One for one to start the game. <laughs> I just love the ball move. 
Utah has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Conley. Puts it up from 12. Rejected by Lopez. And here's Heald. Down low. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Well, this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Clarkson outside. Gay, the pass to Olenek. Back to Gay. Los Angeles foul. Terry Walker, he's checked in for Lopez. And a switch here also for Utah. Johnson, he's checked in for Markkinen. Substitution on the court. Clarkson against Walker. The Jazz with another miss. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 20-5 run. None, no good. Well, the Jazz shooting a very low 27% so far in this one. Conley passes to Johnson. Two minutes remaining. To the inside. Olenek. And it's Olenek with a jam. Kelly you get Olenek. the sense of the impressive reach of Olenek. Important on that dunk. Now Los Angeles with it. On the attack. None. Banked it in off the glass. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Back to Gay. Buries it. He's two really for four in this game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Here's Davis. Rebounded by the Jazz. A minute nine left in the second quarter. Launches it. Rebounded by Heald. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right now. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Walker against Clarkson from 12 feet. And Davis with the block. The kick out to Gay. The three is up. It goes. He's made three shots in six attempts. I'll tell you, he's playing with much more discipline here in the second quarter. He is waiting for good opportunities and capitalizing. Davis down low, working on Olenek, and that one drops. Davis has got 10 points in the quarter. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Conley passes to Olenek. Clarkson for three. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number 11. Walker for three. Rebounded by Gay. Conley up top with one on the clock. And so it's Los Angeles. A huge 24-point lead for them. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 21 points, two assists, and one rebound. What do you think, Kenny, about what we saw from the Lakers? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into play. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. And Shaq, how do you think the Jazz were playing? To be honest, them getting killed on the glasses like this is a little embarrassing. Showing no physicality, no lack of fun. This is when fans start to feel let down. Me too. When the team doesn't seem to care as much as the other team. They don't care, I don't care. I mean, I'm out of here. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. 
Yet tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the Whoa, action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. So on the floor for Utah, we've got Jared Vanderbilt, Lori Markinen out there with Kelly Olynyk, and there's Mike Conley, and it's Sexton in a shooting guard. And it's good for two. Boy, I'm not sure we've ever seen a passer better than LeBron James, always able to keep the whole team involved. Back to Sexton. Outside Vanderbilt. Shot clock at five. For three, Conley hits a three-pointer. Conley's got six. Well, Mike Conley has proven a consistent three-point shooter in his career. Get a hand up, folks. Pass to Lopez. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. And the Jazz with possession here. That'll be the back end of a three-game road trip. Olenek passes to Conley. Marketing against Davis. Outside Conley. Let's go with a three. No good. And it's the Lakers the other way. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Here's Davis. And he banks in the layup. Davis has got 22 points. They have no answer defensively inside. Timeout call to the Jazz. You're going to like what Anthony Davis has done in this game. He's been on a mission, attacking the basket all game long. I'm curious to see what Welcome adjustments the they can make. The legendary, fantastic Laker girl. And the Lakers making a change here. You can see. Marketing the pass to Vanderbilt. Now here's Sexton. Six on the shot clock from the baseline. And too long on the shot. The Lakers have gone three of three in the second half. And how about what Colin Sexton brings to the table, Doris? Yeah, when you think about this young guy, he still can be an offensive force. Plays the guard position with a big-time chip on his shoulder due to his size. This guy is always up for a challenge. I think, guys, the pursuit of greatness is what distinguishes LeBron James. Make no mistake, he wants to be considered the GOAT, the greatest of all time when it's all said and done. Beasley's checked in for Utah. Toscano. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Jazz substitution. Healed against Abaji. Beasley. Here's Abaji. Pass to Vanderbilt. Four on the clock. The three. The Jazz with another miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loose. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Defensive yeah, their defense is starting to wear Jared down. That's Vanderbilt. three straight buckets at the rim. And that one misses. The Jazz have gone two of five in this third quarter. Beasley for three. Here's Markkinen, and that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Well, you just love to see Markkinen get after it and contribute on the backboards. Big time job right there. Here's Schroeder. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And since the halftime break, Defense their offense has just been on another Alan level. Sexton. i got to believe that's something that's the coach talked to them about foul. at the halftime. They have valued foul. each possession. Free throw, no good for Schroeder. You know, I think one of the important things for Dennis Schroeder is to keep trying to become more and more efficient. Let his offense come naturally and improve as a distributor. And he's going for the oop here. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, they have a long way to go, but attacking the rim like that is a great way to start a comeback. And that one's good. James. James. 
He's got 25 points in the game. Pass to Abaji. Beasley against Heald. Beasley outside. Here's Abaji. And Toscano pulls it down. Boy, he really wanted that shot. Trying to make the defense pay for leaving him that oh, wide open. Geez. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Pass to Abaji. From 20 feet. He squares up and okay. sinks it. Five points in the game. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young guy. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. For Los Angeles, they've gone a perfect 7 for 7 and looking strong in this third quarter. Shots good by James. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Indeed. Thanks for that, Alec. That free throw good from Sexton. Colin Sexton's nickname, the young bull, is a pro guy, is a fire competitor. He approached the point guard position with a score. Mentality, so critical in the modern NBA. Azabuki, he's checked in for Markkanen. The Jazz have gotten five of ten shots to go. Sexton misses. He's been just a little off the mark tonight. Really the story of the game so far. Pass to Walker. James with the ball. Soft touch off the glass. James has got 31. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Sexton finds Gay. And there's Clarkson. That one's good. On the assist from Gay. Clarkson's got six. Jordan Clarkson showing he's capable of finishing inside. James. And slam dunked by James. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. Utah's gone one of four here in the third from range. Sexton passes to Gay. Beasley outside. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Doris Commissioner Silver has expressed a desire to ensure star players participate in a full complement of games. What's the answer here? I think, B.A., a couple things come to mind. There's been a long discussion about whether you can shorten the regular season. That obviously impacts revenue generated, so I'm not sure you'd go there. The league could also structure contracts to incentivize games played. And that one's good. James. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. And it's Clarkson missing. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. James passes to Jones. Pass to Azubuki. Back to Sexton. And the layup is good off the glass. Ten points for him. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Double team on James. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Clarkson. No good on the shot. Walker with some nice D. To the middle. Here's Jones. Can't cash it in from close range. For Utah, they've gotten 7 of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Rejected by James. Well, just impressive defense by LeBron James. Such a good feel on that end of the floor. Track that shot all the way. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks too. And you all 
also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. And a switch here also for Utah. Olenek's checked in. Here's Sexton. Excellent D there from Davis. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Beasley outside. The three is up. The rebound by Nunn. Los Angeles shooting an unbelievable 80% from the floor. Wow, what a performance. And finished off by Davis. And yeah, for AD tonight, it's really been a common theme. Just no one out there has been able to match his incredible energy. Here's Sexton. Here's Gay. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers building a mountain of a lead, up 31 points as this quarter concludes. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. They've got Kendrick Nunn. Also, Troy Brown is out there. Juan Toscano-Anderson is out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Gabriel in at the four. That's the Laker five. Well, Doris, courtside seats in basketball are hard to come by. Experiencing that proximity to the action is a rare treat. But with virtual reality now, anyone can. Listen, B.A., I'm all for technology, and I think that's cool. But let's be real. You give me a courtside seat where I can feel the action, where I can see all the minute details of everything that's transpiring in real time, I'll take that. And here's the fast break. The shot's good. Davis has got 10 points in just the second half. And I'll tell you what, if you're gonna mix it up with Davis, you better be on your game. He's so powerful inside. Here's Abaji. Nails it from three. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Now Los Angeles with it. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. And that'll be the finale in their four-game homestand. Just incredible. I mean, what muscle and balance. These tough finishes help Davis get into a rhythm. Back to Lee. Pass to Abaji. Here's Lee. Outside Butler. Utah, the rebound. Wow, just getting all Rudy the Gay. luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. <laughs> no reason to do so there. He was going to leave, no doubt. Here's Lee. And it's blocked by Davis. Brown passes to Davis, and finished off by Davis. Yeah, I like that recognition. He knows he's in rhythm, knows this is the time to give his team some punch. Who poked away, and stolen by Brown. Out of bounds, it'll be Utah's ball. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Jones, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And Utah with a change here, too. Azabuki, he's checked in for Gay. Yep, that one's good. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. None the pass to Jones. Here's Davis, rebounded by the Jazz. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. 
And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. Coming into the floor for your Lakers. Oh, champ. Pass to Lee. Well, in December of the 21-22 season, the NBA set a record for most players used in a season. Doris, what did you learn from seeing so many new guys? I think the exciting part of that, Brian, is the That's fact that the G League is now an integral part of each organization. You have the opportunity to bring guys up and down between that lower level and the NBA. It affords guys who maybe are getting spotty time in the NBA level to continue to enhance their skill. It's both from the stripe. They're doing some good work at the line this half. The Lakers have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. None the pass to Brown. Here's Toscano, covered by Johnson. None with it. Pass to Jones. And it's going to be a three-second call. That's a three-second violation. Jazz ball. And for the Jazz, they're shooting at about 34% here in this game. Here's Lee. Second chance effort. That shot off. And Los Angeles the other way now. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. From deep three-point range. None, no good. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more Save and more. Guys me. looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Jones, good on the Damn shot. Man. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Here's Lee. Again, Utah. Saban Lee. Now here's none. Pass to Toscano. Out of bounds. Out of It'll be Utah's ball. Utah ball. For Utah, they've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Lee on the wing. None defends. And he goes Steven in for the dunk. Lee. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. On offense, here's Utah. They're on a 15-6 run. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away. But at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four <laughs> or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course. <laughs> Left side, Jones. Down low. Here's Brown. Lays it up and banks it in. Brown, Jr. The Jazz have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Butler. Back to Lee. Out of bounds. It'll be Lakers ball. Lakers ball. Schroeder, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Your Lakers. Dennis Schroeder. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Second and he can't get the first one. Second team foul. At the line for the Lakers. And no luck at the stripe this time. Second one won't fall. And for Utah, they're shooting 55% since the start of the fourth. Butler can't get it to go. 
The Lakers shooting a terrific 56% so far in the... And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Yeah. Players yeah. understand the pitfalls oh, or potential setbacks, uh, the social media, Two digital days. age, all the information's there. Two so players days. today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. Butler can't get that one to fall. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Utah has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Abaji. And it's good oh, from the elbow. Abaji. A superb move right there. The spin shakes off any attempt at defense. On the wing, Jones. Pass to Toscano. And here's Schroeder. 11 feet out. And it's Lee with the rebound. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Lakers. Their shot blocking was a huge advantage in this game. Yeah, I love the excellent defense in the paint. It led to a lot of key stops. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Anthony Davis. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Los Angeles foul. Gabriel, he's checked in for the Lakers. Brown comes in for Schroeder. Personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution for your Lakers. Winyan Gabriel. Troy. Here's Asabuki. Pass to Abaji. Just five to shoot. Here's Lee. Jones with the block. They retain possession, sent that one away, but after it touched the backboard, the refs are on it, and they call him for goaltending. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. The rebound by the Jazz. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. Lakers ball. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Nice shot by Walker. Walker their home Walker. crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. Well, for all intents and purposes, this Lakers game foul. is over. Just a matter of time Jones. here. His third personal foul. The fourth team foul. Shooting and the first one at the line is good. Saban Lee taking two shots. So he hits one of two from the strike. Pass to Bochamp. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence. Up. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce.
Think I might start them and think I might buy me an 